This is now the second part of the demonstration on wind impact, specifically on ship motion on straight track under wind. Normally we need a rudder and drift angle to prevent from the ship from uh, leeway, uh, from drifting uh, with the wind. Uh, what we want to achieve is to find a course balance and maybe the limits of steerability where it's not possible anymore to go on a straight track. And all this again by someone planning tool. Okay, now I want to demonstrate what happens to the ship if the ship starts moving under the effect of propulsion. This is the uh, drifting condition which we had discussed before. But what happens if I switch now the engine uh, to 10%, to 20%, and maybe to 30%. Normally this is a, a speed which comes up to 6 knots. So, but what we want to see what happens here. So, the ship is under the wind, 30 knots from north, and then if you start the engine, then this maneuver, this uh, track will be seen. And we want to see what happens. So after 10 seconds, still we are in a drifting motion uh, sideway, leeway, and then if we go further and the, and the ship is gaining speed, then you see the speed vector is changing, what means in return that the ship is now under the inflow from a certain angle, which is course is uh, 137 and the heading is 94. So the difference is the drift angle. And if we go further, then you see that the drift angle gets smaller and smaller. So now we are here at uh, about uh, 28 degree of drift angle. And you can imagine what happens if the whole ship hull is under drift angle. It's like an airplane. If an airplane uh, is under an angle, the airplane wing is under the angle of attack and it gains speed, then there's a lift force lifting the airplane up in this direction. The same happens to the ship. If it's under the angle of attack of the drift angle, then there will be a force acting against the wind. And uh, if you go further, more and more, then you see now the ship is nearly on a straight track. So we are in a balanced condition, equilibrium, where the rudder is zero, so midships, and the ship finds a course of about one, one deg uh, zero degree, 110 degree, and the heading is uh, 96, so the difference is 14 degree drift angle. This is the steady state uh, condition under uh, wind with uh, 30 uh, percent, uh, so slow ahead of the engine, um, which is normally a speed of uh, six knots. Uh, we will change the setting here a little bit uh, to indicate uh, that the ships should not start here from zero, but we will start with speed. Then we go for uh, fine velocity. Then we see immediately that the ship starts here with 6.2 knots and very fast it finds an equilibrium. So this is now the theoretical explanation about, explanation about the wind effect on straight track, straight forward motion and the first part is for headwind. So I have these two sample ships again with the different superstructures and maybe also even trim to show the tendency. If we have the ship with the center of the wind area in the forepart, like here. Uh, specifically, if the wind is now headwind or wind from that quarter. If the wind attacks the vessel from here, then the wind force works and attacks the ship more in the forepart. And if the wind, if the ship is going under a drift angle, this is the drift angle beta, uh, then there is another force, the hydrodynamic force on the uh, underwater part of the vessel, which might be here. 
because there's a difference, there's a different uh, level of uh, a lever. So you see, clearly see that here the ship would have a leeward turning tendency. It would go out of the wind. So you need to have a rudder into the wind to prevent the ship from going to the lee side. The opposite here, now it's, uh, uh, here we have the situation that the underwater force, maybe if the ship is trimmed to the bow, is acting more to the, to the bow, and the wind force, due to the superstructure in the aft part, for this wind direction is behind the water force on the underwater hull. So, if you compare the lever of these both forces, there's clearly a tendency to turn into the wind, a windward turning tendency. So, to keep this ship on a straight track, you would need a rudder angle to the lee side. What happens if we have a beam wind? So, this is nearly beam wind, and so the wind is blowing on the ship from this side. Uh, because the wind has changed to this direction, the wind force is moved to the stern. So, if both forces are attacking the ship at the same position, there's no moment, so no rudder angle is necessary. The ship would keep its course on a straight track without having a rudder angle, so it seeks a, a balance. And for this ship, with the superstructure center more aft, we will have the situation that the, under, the wind force is attacking the ship more to the aft, and um, the underwater hydrodynamic force is here in the fore, so it's a clear windward turning tendency again, more stronger than with the quarter wind, with beam wind. And if we go now, so for a straight track, we would need a rudder angle again to the lee side. What happens if the wind is turning now to the stern? So this is a stern wind. Here the wind force has moved more to the stern, even for this ship. So it's behind the uh, hydrodynamic force. So this ship would be then also have a windward turning tendency for this wind direction. And therefore it needs a rudder angle now also to the lee side to prevent the ship from turning into the wind. And for this ship with the center at the aft part, yeah, it's clearly a more stronger windward turning tendency because now both the forces have a big difference in the lever, so there's a big turning moment into the wind. So you need a strong rudder angle to prevent the ship from turning into the wind. This is the uh, theoretical uh, explanation. And what we want to do now to explain the different, uh, how to say, courses we will find if we change the rudder gradually, step by step, from zero up to 35 degrees, and then we achieve such a pattern, and I will explain this by means of the fast time simulation. And I want to demonstrate now what happens if I change the rudder. So if I change the rudder to the wind side, maybe five degrees to port side, 10 degrees to port side, 20 degrees to port side. So this is to find a, a new uh, straight track. It takes a while, but it will be straight. And, and to the starboard side, um, I will use this um, um, track as a reference track and I make it a little bit bigger. Uh, 1.5, so we can see it more clearly. And I will move this shape up to about 1000 seconds. So this is about... Uh, this is exactly the position after 1000 seconds. I increase the number of, of shapes uh, to see it here. So it's 17, around 17 seconds, between 16 and 17 minutes, sorry. 
And here I set a maneuvering point to have a, a reference, so to say, from here. And, uh, but I want to uh, go back to the, I take the uh, edit mode. So we are back here again. So we have here clearly the shape. And what we can do is we can fix the image of the shape by pressing under tools, uh, save plan into the master cell. So now the, uh, we have this magenta track uh, and when we change the rudder it will keep this way. So we change it now to 5 degrees. Then we see this is the uh, situation for 5 degrees to starboard. We can also use and change it and save it into the master cell. So we have another one. Let's say we go to, oh this was already 20. So, um, uh, this is 10 degrees, this is 10 degrees, I keep it again, uh, save this image, uh, save planet, uh, I can move it now to 20 degrees, this would be this track, and uh, I again save this one to remind it of, uh, then we have another track, and then we go to 30 degrees, so this is 30 degrees, ah, oh, we go back to 25, then we see clearly, okay, up to here we get a new track in this direction, so always gradually increasing the new course, the, the equilibrium, the balance uh, course, we will also save this, and uh, then we go further to 30 degrees, oh no, this is much, uh, this is 30 degrees now and what we see is we cannot go further down so we cannot bring the ship with 30 degrees to go further to the south windward no the wind brings the ship back i will keep this as an image to the master cell and then i go to 35 degrees this is 35 degrees so now it goes back so the ship cannot be turned any further in this direction and I keep this as a last uh, sample so this is for the ship with uh, windward turning tendency this is the reference track for midship rudder we have, we have seen if we go with the rudder to the port side then we can go on a straight track in this direction and we go on the starboard side then it gradually increase the course but after a certain limit, uh, 25 degrees, 30 degrees, then we cannot turn the ship anymore. So there's a limit. We cannot, with this wind speed of 30 knots and the ship speed, which is normally 6.2 knots. So that means 30 divided by 6. This is a ratio of about 5. So 5 times more wind than, wind, uh, than ship speed. So this is a limit, uh, we cannot uh, go any further in this direction. We would have to increase the ship speed or yeah, we can do that. For instance, if we increase the ship speed to 40, uh, then you see, okay, then we can even turn the ship. But I will go back to 30% to um, keep this as a, as a sample um, and then we will add now another ship with the uh, with uh, windward turning tendency now i have uh, chosen another ship this time it's the costa fortuna also a cruise ship but with the superstructure at the aft part so this time it is a windward turning vessel and uh, I have set the same initial conditions as before. So the speed is about 6.3 knots. And uh, I have set another maneuvering point after 1000 seconds. And this is still without wind. So if we now add the wind, and uh, as we had it in the other uh, sample, um, this is the wind of 30 knots um, and then you clearly see that the ship is turning 
into the wind. If I move it extends the, the presentation, so you see clearly the ship is turning into the wind. So we don't need a, a rudder angle to port side to turn in the wind, it uh, does it on its own. Um, okay, so we will fix this uh, situation. So we get this magenta uh, 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 curve. Uh, if we increase the rudder now to 5 degrees, then the ship changes its course and goes on another straight track. We also keep this, save it into the master cell, then we go to 15 degrees, then we get this graph, we save it to the master cell, uh, then we go to 20 degrees, like this, we save it, it's a little bit so to 30 degrees, 25 degrees, to 30 degrees, we cannot change it anymore. This is with 35 degrees now. So we can't change this. Uh, this is the maximum turning capability we can achieve if we go uh, with hard rudder. We cannot turn the ship out of the wind. The only chance we would have to turn the ship is wait until the wind is calming down or to increase the ship speed because now it's wind 30 knots, ship speed um, 6.3 knots, so about a ratio of 5. Uh, but if we increase the um, engine speed, then this is 46. So then we see, okay, now the ship is able to turn and uh, to keep to save this one then we have the following situation to describe the situation of a ship which has windward turning tendency so totally different than the ship we had on the right side okay thank you very much